Okay, first of all, welcome back. Second of all, look at this most adorable thing that I just noticed as I was about to start recording. There's a bear. Okay, hold up. You can't see it from this distance because of the blue. I'll just scan it real quick. There's a bear with like a welding helmet on, which is adorable. What is this? And it's working on the little ASC unit. That's absolutely adorable. Just people having beers on this like makeshift table. Wait. Oh, this might get real sad. This might get real sad because it might be somebody who made their own friends. Because everyone else is gone. Oh, this is a castaway situation, isn't it? It's whoever reads this, find me. I didn't go crazy like these guys, Sarah. Oh! I thought this was Sarah's, but it's not. Does Can I read this one? I can't. Jeez. These people went insane, eh? It's a Wilson. It's a Wilson castaway moment, and I respect it. Let's watch this real quick. Anywhere from evac crew water, MacArthur? Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? What, what the All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moonhub with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to board the train for evac. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. We do it your six control center. I have eyes on him. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. Is there gonna be a dude? Like just some guy living in this bay or is he like, is he dead now? Because it, it makes it sound like they're like hunting this guy or like he was just messing with them. And he's like one of the people they were tasked with getting or maybe that's Edgar actually. Oh, that's probably Edgar because I think he was going to sabotage stuff. Edgar was going to do something to make it seem like he gets the answers. And when I was editing that episode, I realized that it actually might be more nefarious than I was thinking. At first I was like, oh, he's going to seek the truth. But then he was like, nobody leaves till I get answers. I was like, wait, what if he just kidnaps a bunch of people? That would be pretty scary, too. Is there anything else in here? You got the one notes, you got the, the little area here, and you got that readable thing. On the actual database, we get the worn astronaut suit, which is from earlier. While relatively close to the Tomba facility, the rugged crater base makes Reinhold Station hard to reach. Whatever means of transportation Sarah has tried to use, the grimy marks on her weathered suit indicate that she has had to make the final stretch on foot. And we have Tea Party, which was adorable and then it wasn't. In spite of the WSA effort to reduce the mental and physical burden on lunar colonists to acceptable levels, not all colonists were left untouched by the conditions of the moon. The events at Hugens and the solitary existence at Reinhold seem to have left their mark on the base operator's mind. Oh, so it's just the base operator here? Because he's alone? And this is before? Am I to believe this is before everybody went away? Because I thought this was just somebody that got left afterwards. While the events in Copernicus outpost unfold, MacArthur's second outward task force reaches the Reinhold crater base. Upon arrival, it appears that they can't leave. The monorail station has gone offline for unknown reason. Unable to communicate with the first task force, and with only a little time left to complete their mission, they split up to secure their objectives. And that was five hours before. So they still had plenty of time. The monorail doesn't take too long. Oh, now I'm actually a little worried that I'm going to like run into some like Bioshock guy. Because you remember all the people that were left in like Rapture and Bioshock and how they were just like muddled messes of what they were. Oh, this is getting worrisome. There's a computer here, though. Diagnose. Unable. MPT Pillar 1 not realigned? Wait, I need to manually realign a MPT pillar that's probably nearby. Did I make a mistake? I opened the bay doors out there. But I don't think... No, there's a vehicle. I was gonna say, I don't have a vehicle. I'll take it. 
And here is this little watch thing. Hey! Hey, you there! A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the track powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Have you been watching me with that thing? Are you going to the domes? At Huygens? Everyone Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planning. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Especially the Council. Hey, come in. I got bad news. We're not going to get a run-in. Any luck up there? No, just a nut job. Quit the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? If the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. They'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sands are rough out here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross those. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. I've driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. So not only is is it edgar um edgar was genuinely insane was this his bed this feels like an after thing and why did he hate paper so much like it it is implied that he was here beforehand all alone i'm locked in now um he was here beforehand all alone but i would think he would have had a bedroom because this feels like an after the fact kind of deal unless that's sarah and she was eating chips. But yeah, he was also just kind of crazy a bit from being isolated out here. The solitary confinement of it, even though he still kind of had like some uh, communication with the outside, him and Fred. Or was it Frank or was it Fred? I think it was Frank. And then what do we have here? What are these? I've asked that multiple times. I actually tried to drive out there and it wouldn't let me. They can't be for communication. We're already... We already had a radar communication without them. Wait, is that two different people talking? Oh, that was the front and the back. Okay. And then... Whatever these coordinates are. It doesn't really let me zoom in, so I'm guessing they're not as important, but it looks like... It looks like he was keeping tabs on the monorail. Which isn't that his job, isn't he like the operator of a base? So wouldn't he need to? Isaac Johansson, there's a little blue line. Checks for... What? Checks for... Com 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 it all goes here. All the unexplained shipments of materials in Helium 3 end up in Copernicus. Why? Okay, that's not what I meant to inspect. Checks for something... Leaders? check all attributes for a something and then it all is pointing to MacArthur and it has MacArthur connected to Isaac and it has all of this going over too I mean this is of course he would notice this trend because he's all alone doing nothing else like what else would he be doing so we've gone through Copernicus outpost we're at Reinhold next would be to Tumba and then from Tumba, we could go to Hugens and back to Copernicus. So we're on a very linear path here. This is the Hugens meltdown. Why overload the reactor? Rosa Laverde. Lunar Council, William MacArthur, and the Helium-3 disappearances. And he's showing how it like all links from the disappearances back down to Huge's Meltdown. I think it all starts with the Meltdown. Let me go back over here real quick. What's next to Isaac? Uh, I can't read that either. The script is just too, it's, it's too ineligible or unlegible, I guess. Before I press this airlock button, let's check out what we just learned. Um, one flew, fitting name. MacArthur's second task force finds out that the monorail station in Reinhold Crater Base has been actively sabotaged. Anxious to make it to the moon hub before the secret of outward launch, the task force officers discovers another way out of the base while rambling operator mutters conspiracy theories to himself about the Hugens malfunction and the Lunar Council. 
that is four hours. So it took him an hour to find him. He was literally just going up the stairs, but okay. Maybe the guy wasn't there or something. I don't know. And we have Edgar's hunch. So this fills out the malfunction. Much like Maria Gonzalez, a fellow survivor of Hugin's malfunction, Reinhold operator Edgar Davis has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rosalert Verd for the Hugin's cryosleep malfunction and establish a suspicious link between the Lunar Council activity and the disappearance of Helium-3. So this goes back to Rosa now. But he could be wrong on that. But he could be right. You never really know. We still don't have anything on data recovery. So he's got ties from... Rosa to the malfunction. And then you have it all leading back to MacArthur through the council. Which she's in a pretty high position, I guess. So that kind of makes sense. Um, I am wandering around without oxygen. What is my goal? Okay, so I just need to get right in the bug. Right? Oh, but there's a thing to watch. I see. I was like, why do they have oxygen canisters down here? One come in. We need to transport the helium to Moonhop by rover, since we're not going to get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac One, come in. Do you copy? Damn it. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> For the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. Now I know. Just for the fuel. Helium-3. The ticket out of here. You stranded up here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. Simply a flakeless witch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in. And what you've put at risk. ASEL-30. Don't. I have made crowd control protocol. No! Ah! Wow, she's, he, he straight up murdered that man. I mean, this man, well, look how sassy he's sitting. Hold up, look at how sassy he is. Anyways, the older gentleman, Edgar, um, obviously wasn't doing himself any favors by doing the whole maniacal laughing and everything after he actively stranded and probably was the death of all of them. So obviously he made that guy upset, but he really did just actively kill that man. Uh, stung by a scorpion, they took my map, but only I know the way for the beetle to cross. Oh, he didn't die, cowards. He didn't die. But I needed that map. So where did he crawl off to? That's a, that's a separate question. I also really like the southern drawl of the, the one, um, astronaut. And she's like, leave him, leave him. I'm doing it even worse because I'm... I'm an actual southerner trying to do an accent, so it just comes off like very, very inappropriately wrong. Okay, where is, where is your map, good squire? Should I go back? Also, could I just enter this to like, refill my oxygen and then get out? Oh, it's not letting me leave. Oh, it's not letting me leave. Oh, this was a mistake. Well, I'm in here now, and I don't know the... I don't know the map. Shoot. That's not good. Can I go back up? How do you... I guess I'm not really trying to go up right now, am I? I'm just trying to realign a pillar. So these people probably died out here, too. We'll explore that a bit. Because all this is, is this this crater is one of their facilities. So I'm not really trying to exit, necessarily. And I think the ship's going to be messed up, so I won't be able to get in there. Oh, I can't get in this one. I've just realized the reason why I had a different colored um, little crosshair deal is because I don't think it's powered yet. I think I have to go to this one first. Jesus. There's holes everywhere. My guess is to avoid the places they went. Because I don't think they've made it out of this crater. 
I haven't found their remains yet, though, so maybe they did. Possibly they did. And let's get in here. That sounded like the least confident way to say let's get in here ever. I was just trying to quick to quick reset my oxygen and I got thrown into the crater, which is actually kind of funny. It is a little comical, you know? Um, it looks sabotaged. See how it's sparking like that? Am I crazy? It was sparking when I came in. Um, yeah, no, it's sparking. I can't do anything here, can I? No, I have to go under. Oh, you'll fit. Okay, I was about to say, will I even fit? Man, did he sabotage this side too? Is that why he was like, perfect, they're coming? Because he was going to sabotage it so no one could no one could exit once they got here. And he sabotaged not only the main monorail, but it looks like the NPT pillar itself. Which, I mean, good for him, but like, that might be problematic for me. Man, I really misjudged Edgar. I thought Edgar was like some journalist coming to crack down on it. But in reality, he's just a survivor who needs to know, like, what's going on, because he knows there's a conspiracy here. He knows something's afoot, and he just had to know what it was. But he has no way to, like, get that story out there. He can't, like, send it to Earth. I mean, I guess he could try to get a transmission out, but, like, it comes to the question of would reporters and media believe him? Would, it, would Even if they believed him, would the people reading the story believe him? Would people care? Because that's a lot, a lot of times, Something comes out and you're like, oh, actually, this is really bad. And then people willingly turn a blind eye to it because they just don't care enough. Ow. Oops. Because the inconvenience of it affecting their own personal life is just, it's too much for them, I should say. I keep dying. So it, it, it becomes this thing where people don't care. Even though they should care. I don't know. That's a problem with humanity as a whole. You know? You know? Maybe I'm getting a little too... A little too realistic here. Let's just realign an NPT pillar real quick. Whoa. I love how it, like, draws in power like that. Like, is this power coming directly from the core of the moon? Wouldn't that be something we do, eh? No. Do I have to go to the main facility? Oh. Is this in range? So that's the other beacon. The no oxygen thing always has me a little... Wait a second. I'm sorry. I was gonna say the, the countdown of the timer has me a little confused because it never really matters. But apparently it still matters? Why do I have a time limit here? What is the, the science behind this time limit? I don't understand. I mean, I should be able to do this within three minutes. In a previous episode, we actually talked about that. About how you should be able to do this within three minutes, because it's really not that bad. But really, at this point, it's two minutes. Because of the travel time to get here. It just seems like a very strict... Oh! I see. It looks like the crater's sinking? I don't know. Is the crater sinking? Am I in a sinkhole? Kind of like the ones I've been seeing? I need to run. I don't have much time here. Does... Oh, I'm on the moon. Don't forget, you're on the moon. Oh, God, I didn't even see that. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm going to kill myself. 
Apparently a time pressure limit. It's pretty hard for me. Please don't fall. You bum. You bum. Imagine falling. I would never. I would never. This ladder is very wonky. This ladder is not a ladder. It is now a staircase. It is weird. <laughs> we went up that so daintily. I actually really enjoyed that. That was a fun, that was a fun little dainty approach. Each of these maps, I call them maps. They're really just different areas of the main game. But each of these chapters have had a lot of different gameplay mechanics that have get gone into it. Which is honestly an extremely impressive feat. Like, this is really cool. This has been a really good experience of a gameplay for me. I don't know how, like, scientifically accurate it would be. But I'm... I'm... I'm okay, like, suspending my belief in order just to play a really fun game. You know what I mean? Like, Helium 3 probably doesn't exist at all. People, humans would mine the moon. If they found a resource that could power basically the Earth and the moon, on the moon, I have no, I have no qualms in believing that people would, would mine the moon. Humans will, will mine any resource in order to power our ever continuing growing group, I should say, or a population. And our car is about to get crushed, isn't it? Well, can I make it back in time? And also, that probably means I only have a specific amount of time. Oh, I fell. Oh, that's not good. That could have been the end of my adventure right there. This probably means I have a very finite amount of time in the main resource before the power dies off. Hey, Bobby. If this is the first episode you've watched, um, Bobby's the name of my ASC unit, and also, who starts at episode 5, you weirdo? Yo, weirdo, I do have time. I see. I see what's happening here. This is like the space one, except for on foot. I should run. Does running bring down my timer quicker? It kind of seems like it does. Oh, that was a 30 second oxygen thing. Let's get in those doors. I think I should make it on a 30 second timer. Uh, pfft. Okay. I would have just made it without all of this extra. Like that crate didn't have to fall. I feel like I would have just made that, you know what I mean? But maybe I wouldn't have with 30 seconds left. Hey, you notice how that timer's still just going up? And it's not gone away. I was about to say, I think I might be screwed. I think I still might be screwed. I want the map. I want the map so bad. The monorail station's still offline and the MPT network's still offline. Do I need to connect this for the MPT network as a whole? Like, to get it back to Earth, does this station need to be connected as well? What's my objective? Activate monorail station power inside the control center. So no, apparently. Apparently, if there's enough power for me to get the monorail going and get out of here, Reinhold basically... There's no recovery of the station at this point, it looks like. Looks like we're kind of done with the station in general. Um, if they ever want to recover anything, keeping you safe while you save us. Cute. Cute and inspirational. Actually, really fun poster design. They evacuated? No, 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 no. This can't be right. They can't just leave. The colony will fail without them. And Earth. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? How can they be so... Warning. Tombow reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know! They 
know I'm alone. Combo reactor capacity at 10%. Still going? Alex, we have to go. This is... this would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. Okay. Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombo. You'll make it, Sarah. Why did I reach out? Yes! Pet Bobby. I'm on my way, Sarah. I'll find you. Rolf's here. Well, not here, but like, Rolf didn't leave her. Rolf didn't leave her. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. I don't know how. I don't know how he got out of the elevator. I don't know if he got back up and he said, you know what, screw you, I'm coming back down. Am I Rolf? Because this entire time I thought of him Fortuna 1. No. We haven't really known what our, our actual name is. Am I Rolf? Is that why I reached out? That's, that's a hard belief, I would think, because if I was Rolf, I should know a lot of things that already happened in regards to, like, the main stuff I was learning about, like, the monitoring of Sarah and Rolf. So I don't think I'm Rolf. I'm a little confused on that. That voice line really got me a little confused. The Earth looks so sad being dusty. control to Fortuna One. I'm not sure if you're still there. The dust storms, they've gotten worse. Everything has. The solution has to be a tombo. Whether it's the reactor or the MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell. But we're at the end of the line, Wolf. We could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could I wish I could help you. Wow, it really is Rolf. You're really Rolf. They kept that so secret for so long. That was such a good reveal at the same time. So what should I do? I don't really have many options. I see the warnings. I see them. I don't know what you want from me. Oh, okay, good. Uh, maybe not so good. Oh. Could really use Spider-Man right now. Anytime a train accident happens, all I think of is Spider-Man. From all the movies and games and everything, he's always stopping trains. I don't know why. Please travel soon. I'll do my best. All right, I'm going to finish off my two thoughts real quick before I go any further. My two thoughts is one, I really like that I have Bobby and she had Alex, so she wasn't alone in no sense because of the fact that they were together in that regard. And then my other thought was from like way before. And it was it was when I first kind of got up there and I was like, basically if they ever want to recover the station, they're just going to have to send in like a crew, like that station screwed. There's no, it's the, the power source is gonna go away, so there's not gonna be oxygen. You're gonna have to bring in a whole thing to salvage any resources. Um, the crater looks like different parts are crumbling down. There's no more connecting the power in there because one of the posts is gone. I don't know if that's something they'd want though. I don't, I don't know if they would really want a, um, why did I do the oxygen pleading before I actually looked the rest of the train? I don't know if that's something they would really care for. If that was like, like the resources might not matter to them at that point. Should I go this way? I really want to go the other way because there was something to scan. I don't think I can. I think I have to stay down here. I probably round the corner to it. Oh yeah, it's right here. Can 
Can I climb that? Oh, I would have probably had to jump on top of it. It's probably just showing me that it's fallen. No, there's something there. It's oxygen, I believe. I'm going to waste a ton of oxygen just trying to get oxygen. Would be a very silly thing to do. Oh, I really want to know what that is. Is it just oxygen? It's just oxygen. Maybe I shouldn't care as much as I do. Interesting. Onwards and outwards. What is this thing? A refill? Is this entire area going to be out of... Um, that's the first time they've introduced the refills. So I'm partly thinking this entire area is going to be without oxygen. This is a helium... This looks like a dead helium-3 canister. But I think I need it to climb... And probably over here. Oh. Or maybe not. No, that jumps a little too much. Maybe it goes down the hill. Oh, yeah, it goes over there. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, wow, it just slides. I'm glad I... I'm glad I had it in the right area before before I let go of it. Hold A to jump. Thank you, game. Thank you. I was un unfamiliar with that moveset, which I guess you could get to this point of the game without jumping. It's not it's not unforeseeable for that to be a thing. What is this? Wait, is this a vehicle? Hold up. What is that? It's got wheels on it like a tank. I don't know. I'm starting to learn how much three minutes of oxygen truly is. Because that's a lot of time. In a video game, you would think like... I don't know, like, it just feels like it's a lot of time. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't feel as stressed when I'm in the suit as I did in the crater, for example. So I guess I gotta jump across. Hopefully I make it. Okay, there we go. Y'all have seen I'm not always the best at making these jumps, but I'm doing my best. There we go. That's not swinging, is it? It wouldn't be swinging, this is space. Well, not quite space, it's the moon, so it does have its own gravity. It's just a lot less. Having lunar gravity on Earth would be so cool, but if we always had lunar gravity on Earth to begin with, right? So, like, if we grew up with it, it would just be like jumping in real life. Like, nobody would be awe-spired by the fact that you can jump as high as you can jump. Or that you feel so weightless. Because you would just be used to it, because that's kind of the same with Earth gravity, right? Because Earth gravity can feel really weightless to an extent. If somebody was used to, like, gravity that's usually, like, two times ours, or even 1.5 times ours, and then they went and they jumped on Earth. Isn't that the whole idea behind Superman, is that on Krypton he wouldn't have been nowhere near as powerful? He would just be, like, a normal dude. But on Earth, he's, like, a, a superhuman, because he's an alien. Or is it that... Isn't there... It's either that, or it's, like, actually that... Something is affecting him on Earth, like the was it the yellow sun or something like that. Maybe that's like mixing with his chemistry or his body chemistry and creating this like super powerful being. But where did the laser eyes come from with Superman? I have a lot of questions. And for some reason I'm feeling now is the time to to spew them all out about the DC universe. I think, I think we're going ahead. Doesn't look like there's really anything. Can you go in there? I've always wanted you to go in these small little holes and you never do. Oh, you did this time. It just makes the most sense. 
And then I think I could probably go in that same building now. There's still oxygen inside the facility. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if you left oxygen in a facility, right? And you left it closed up and then you entered the facility. Would it still be oxygen at that point? Like even if there was no power, would it still be like a amount of oxygen you get to burn through because you haven't like no one's been burning through the oxygen? It's been just you now. I don't know. I don't know the, the rules of oxygenation. Please enter first and last name below. Use a new line for every individual checking in and sharing the same purpose of visit, up to a maximum of three individuals at a time. Important name entered on the first line must correspond to the name of the signer below. William MacArthur, Isaac Johansson. Date of visit, 9-22-2054, so that is day of the blackout. Purpose of visit, periodic MPT assessment, so that's a lie. Tumba facility, Linda Conrad, signature arriving, signature security. No one enters or leaves without any written permission. Wait, what was that before or after? Did he write that on the back and give it to them? As like, this is a directive from me? Or is that after they sabotage the facility? I feel like I need that. What is that? Linda Conrad. No, that's her badge. I feel like I need that, don't I? Maybe not. Did he give that to Linda? As a directive? Or is that something Linda wrote down because she was like, ooh, something bad happened. No one's going to enter or leave before I figure it out. And the president's like, I gotta go. And she's like, okay, we'll figure this out, president. But in reality, president of council did it. Powering tomorrow. Check. Mining operational. Helium-3 available. State of the reactor. MP dish okay. Can Alex access Tomboss systems? I don't think so, right? Bobby has to do it. Helium-3. Excavated from moon rock. Harvested in the quarries surrounding Tomba. Processing helium-3 is a fuel that powers our future. Constructed in one of the richest helium-3 deposits on the moon, Tomba is the proud and sole provider of helium-3. Reactor. Tomba, a state-of-the-art reactor, turns helium-3 into pure energy. It is revolutionary technology ensures that only a little input is required to produce a generous output. The produced energy is transported to the MPT battery where it is stored until transmission. The MPT dish. The MPT system retrieves energy from the MPT's battery and links it through the MPT's alpha dish, firmly positioned on top of the Tumba facility. The MPT sends energy surging from the moon to the earth to provide for humanity's energy needs. Cool. So what was the checklist again? Because I've already forgotten. Helium-3 available, state of the reactor, MPT dish okay. So the mining is operational. She put a question mark and then crossed it out. I don't know if that means that it is operational or that she had that question and she found out one way or the other. What was that? The door. It was the frickin' door. Let me read through these. Shayra's journey. A sliver of hope. As Sarah realizes that under MacArthur's leadership, the lunar colonists have abandoned the MPT and the moon, she gives in to rage, grief, and disbelief. Nearly exhausted by her journey, she regains hope when it appears that the Tumba reactor is still active. In spite of MacArthur's outward mission, the MPT might be restored and the Earth could be saved. Recorded six days after the blackout. Oh, I didn't mean to close out of that. I missed something. Oh, I missed something. That's back at... Oh, I bet that's back at the, um... The crater. Unless... that I'll learn it now, maybe? Because these haven't been a very linear list. Like, I'm learning things randomly. With no time left to spare, the task force seizes rovers to rejoin MacArthur in the moon hub before outward launches. It becomes clear that the base operator, searching for answers, disabled the monorail station to strand them at Reinhold. After the operator realizes that MacArthur secretly peddled massive amounts of Helium-3 to power his outward exodus, the infuriated officer commands his ASC to strike. Recorded 23rd of September, two hours before. Wait. Secretly peddled massive amounts. Oh, the operator being Edgar. Okay. I thought the, like, the guy 
who had the ASE unit realized it and was mad and then killed somebody else because of it, that would make any sense. The bridge providing the entry to Tumba facility lies in ruins, although no signs of sabotage or demolition are apparent. The debris bears no marks of natural calamity either. Only a narrow path remains intact for outgoing monorail traffic. Sarah has either reached Tomba before the bridge collapsed or found another way in. When Dr. Rosa Lever joined the WSA, she committed herself to one single goal, developing a sustainable energy source for Earth. To that end, the copious amounts of helium-3 harvested from the excavated moon rock made for outstanding fuel. Still, it would take her years to develop a reactor that would efficiently process helium-3. Only then could the resulting energy be transferred or be transmitted by the MPT. I feel like I missed this, and I just feel like it's back at the crater, and I hate that. I think I think after I beat the game, because it shows you how many things you missed, I might go through and collect all the things I missed. I think to this point, I've only missed two things. Like there's two little spots that I think I missed yet. Maybe three with that extra bit. Uh, Mid-course correction, beacon point gamma. Cryosleep activates there. Where are they going? Is it Mars? Are they going to Mars? I make the joke because of the game coming up, Deliver Us Mars. That would just fit the best, I guess. What a weird, like, what a weirdo with MacArthur. It's doomed to fail. Yeah, it's doomed to fail because you're stealing helium, you little fuck. Like, what? Sure. Okay, it's doomed to fail. We could never save the Earth. Actively doesn't try to save the Earth. What a genuine weirdo. Also, what does that sound? Are these Roombas? Five years after the blackout. Oh, I do have a question, though, where, like... Edgar might be, for example, where um, those two guys might be, or I guess the the guy and the and the woman who were part of evacuation team two. I have a question where Sarah might be. I feel like there's still some loose ends to tie up here, and I really do think these might be Roombas. I'm gonna touch it. No, why is this Roomba not activated? Activate Roomba. Activate. Can I do something with it? No. Oh. I don't know why this Roomba is giving me so many questions. Hmm. Hmm. I have questions. I have questions. Maybe this will answer some of it. I really feel like those Roombas are going to come back to bite me, though. Reactor capacity at 9%. We're close now. Let's go, Alex. Welcome to Tombo. Who are you? Sarah. Sarah Baker. Used to be stationed at Pearson. You work here? I used to. Name's Isaac. Isaac. Mr. Johansson? Where's the rest? I thought everyone had... There's no one else. Why are you here? They're all gone? I... I'm here to fix the MPT. Mm -mm. No use. They locked the mainframe. The system's inaccessible. I, I'm a software engineer. Show me. Maybe I can... <laughs> What's going on? The reactor is running out of fuel, but power's still building up inside. With the MPT offline, that power can't go anywhere. If it isn't stopped soon, wait, you're a software engineer? Come with me. Wait, hold up. This wish-washy fuck. I will repeat it to the end of the days. Isaac Johansson is my least favorite character. He has no ground. He doesn't know where he stands. He did this, and now he's trying to undo it? He he seemingly abandoned the the heading to Mars and instead is going to, to fix something that he did? And part of me wonders, albeit a, a smaller part of me, is this them trying to give him some sort of redemption arc? 
It's not gonna work on me. No, it will not. Movie night. Moon Man the movie. Aw. Or Star Maker. Jessica Hale is Star Maker. Hank Robbins and Emily Breaker. Moon Man feels like it'd be a Tom Hanks movie. Maybe it's just because the guy's name is Hank Robbins. Vote here. I want to vote. Two stars to Star Maker. Uh, four stars to Moon Man. And then they still have... Eight stars left, so am I to believe there's... 14 people in this facility? 15 counting the person that puts it all up? Was this a 15 person facility? And just eight of them didn't care to watch a movie? It seems. And I'm assuming Isaac Johansson and Sarah Baker actually do end up fixing this thing so it doesn't explode or whatever, and they probably have to give their lives for it. And they probably have to give their lives for it. I don't know. Space Tech Magazine. Bottled Lightning. Constructing Humanity's Greatest Energy Supplier. Energy Storage Revolutionized. Storing Energy Reserves in the MPT's Battery. Nobody said it was easy, but they did it. In this edition, we sit down with Lunar Council members MacArthur, Laverde, and Johansson to celebrate the MPT's success and discuss its future potential. Wow, imagine two of those people in that list abandoning all of the potential. Imagine it. Imagine, like, power and corruption really, really hitting at an all-time all high here. God, it's disgusting. Security update install here. What? Like, on this desk? The computer is down. There's a microphone. Oh, the ASC. Oh, that's dead too. Interesting. Why is Isaac Johansson's book here? Why does this look like a tourist facility? Like, why does this look like a gift shop? Slightly. Did they just give that to everybody as they joined the facility? That one's destroyed. Kind of shows the earth, I think. Monday in the auditorium, boat and entrance hall. They're really selling this m movie stuff. Like, really specifically selling it. All these doors are locked, too. Uh, I think that's Alex. I would have to guess. Is Alex okay? Do, can I do something with Alex? Alex? I guess it could technically not be Alex, too. It could be like an overpowered one. Because it looks like there's a couple ASE units still around. Keep my light on here, it's kind of dark. I wonder if there's a point in going through here. Or even just like looking through there. Part of me wonders. Can't, okay, so that door's closed from that side. Can I fit through this at all? At any point? Uh, the only other part that kind of looks like you might be able to is there. So I guess not. I'll probably just come out the other side at some point. And then what do we have here? Internal mail. These boxes um, were on my ship, right? No. The box on my ship read for Copernicus Moon Hub. It didn't read for the Tumba Reactor. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm locked in here in general, though. This, uh, this is movable. So there's got to be a point to moving this. Before I move it, let's kind of see what the point of moving... Do I just take it down the stairs? Is this going to go quietly down the stairs? It's a big box. 
Oh, is it gonna break if it falls down the stairs? Right. Yeah, okay. I was like, is that gonna break? It's like a stealth mission now. But also, this is the security breach. Not the entire structure already falling apart. This specific part of the structure breaking, they're like, red alert. Red alert. Okay. Okay, I guess that's fair. So we need to get to the control center. Let's move this out of the way. Boop. Jump over. And it looks like we're gonna have to dodge a bunch of stuff on our way through. Let's see. I'm sorry, what is this? MPT Online. Microwave power transmission generates power inside a fusion rack reactor and sends it wirelessly to receivers on Earth, fueled by helium-3 harvested on the moon. While the MPT took over a decade to complete, the energy signal traveled rapidly from the lunar colony to Earth. The World Space Agency believes the MPT can transmit enough energy from the colony's fusion reactor to supply approximately 20% of the Earth's population. That percentage is expected to rise quickly. In another decade, the MPT could power all of Earth, said Dr. Isaac Johansson, the agency's lead scientist. The Earth will never be in the dark again until he actively puts them in the dark again. That was us. We made it work. Don't you dare give yourself a little smile. What's wrong with you? What is this, though? WSA pins, a little, a little, like, space person with an Alex or a Bobby. Are these body bags? Oh my goodness. Are these dead people? With their little units next to them? Am I walking on a dead person right now? I think I am. I should get off them. That's disrespectful. Uh, for humanity in the future. Oh my god, there's so much more. Did they have like a live-in funeral and then mass suicide? Were they just dying already? There's helmets next to them. So maybe the, that was us. Oh, there's another person right here. But if they, if this is all like a mass, like, like who put them in the bags? Because you would think there'd be at least one person not in a bag. Like, one person not in a body bag. Would make the most sense. Unless they took something where they were going to die in the next, like, I don't know, three minutes. And they used that time to get in the bag and zip it up. I, I, I genuinely don't know. It's very scary, though. Because that's what it looks like, is a bunch of people just died in that room. This game really loves paper on the ground. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ring around the rosy. You'll never find me again. Ah! Oh! No, wait. That's my own ASC unit. I was so confused. I was like, ah. Uh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Maybe I use this area to kind of scout out. I didn't think about it. I forgot all about the ASC units. We need to keep an eye on like their patterns. So this one goes back and forth. And that one goes. That one maintains those areas. So I could stay here and move to there. And then I need to kind of like duck in here while it's going that way, which is doable. I just need to see how far it detects. It would, it would catch you there. I think I have to stay right there. 
Okay. So I think if I go this way... Oh wait, hold up, there's a... Turn my flashlight off, maybe that would help. I think if I stick right here, we'll be fine. And then maybe we'll move around here, and then we'll follow... ...to here? I think that was the whole goal there. And then... Ugh. Shoot! Oh god! Oh no! That's it! I caught it catching me on camera, which was very silly. Hello? D do you mind? I just spawned in. I just spawned in here, dude. My guy keeps scared of the crap out of me. My ASC unit scares me so much every time it, it awakens. Because I'm like looking out for ASC units and then that one exists. Could I use my ASC unit to like distract them perchance? I don't know if this is a thing that, that works. Do you get distracted by me? No. Okay. Well, we know the route. As much as we dislike it. And I think right here is fine. Oh, oh, oh god, not yet, not yet. No, 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 no. You have no idea. Oh, this is harder than I thought it would be. This is way harder than I thought it would be. Okay, we're just gonna hide behind this box. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, it turned. I was like, oh, shoot. It's like examining the area that I just ran. What if I just go here? Just right away. The only thing is like... Gosh, dang it. We're just suicide running. It's just gonna happen. <laughs> that sucks. It catches you from both sides. I don't understand its range fully. Cause like it was seeing me when I spawn in. See how it sees me when I spawn in? And I don't know if it's just like the game's kept it on high alert. I'm gonna send Bobby out again. And just see if there's a, a method here. Because we go here. Oh, and then you go here. Okay. That keeps you out of like everyone's grasps, basically. Because we gotta get to the control room. If we go around this way, and then we should be fine. So this is actually a lot easier than I was making it seem. I was making it seem a lot harder than it was. Okay. Let's, uh... Like, is he gonna catch me if I'm here? Or is it just because I spawn in? It's just the spawn in. It's just the game spawn in, and I think that the... ASC units are already on kind of like high alert, if you will. So this is gonna be a lot easier than I thought it was. I don't fully understand this game sometimes. What? For why? I'm lost. Ah! Ah! Listen, I'm bullying my way through and I don't even care. There's no way out. Oh, there's no way out. Please don't turn this corner. Please stay there. I somehow got lost in this maze. I thought the path was... Didn't I see the path? I thought the path was through here and to the left, but I guess I was wrong. I guess I got through... Through here and no, this is not it. What, what was the path? Yeah, I'm actually lost. 
I'll check back in with y'all when I'm not lost. Oh, look here. See these footsteps? I have to, I should, I gotta be on top of that thing. Those footsteps were the, the, the clue, I guess. So I need to jump up there and then run across. And then once I'm across, we should be free. But now the issue is I have to run back. Which I probably will die doing. If I had to guess. I think this one goes, yeah. All right, now we go up. Please, please game. Thank you. And apparently we're okay now. And then can we get through here? Do I need to like open the door very secretly? Sleep quarters. I don't think I can get in the sleep quarters quite yet. I think I need to go through here. Yeah, that was... That would have been a little too easy, I guess. That's fair. And this door opens. So now my objective has changed slightly. This is the elevator... Backup power, so this would be sleep quarters. So I can actually go in there now. Oh, but then I get stuck in here, so that's not... That's not necessarily viable, is it? Hmm. So I need to be able to power both, which probably means I'm looking for an extra Helium-3 battery. Still can't go through there, so it's this door here. And then to the left. Mr. Johansson, wait up! The control room's closed! Hey! Once we cross the corridor... Will you listen to me? The tremors are getting worse. If we don't do something about... We just went past a bunch of destroyed ASEs and what looked an awful lot like body bags. What happened? Now's not the time. You knew these people. Enough! You don't know what you're talking about. No, that's right. I don't. I don't know why the MPT shut down, and I don't know why the colony vanished overnight. Reactor capacity at 8%. We have to focus on the reactor. Our people were killed here, Isaac. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Outwards would have saved everybody. What, by just packing up and leaving Earth? That's a terrible plan, even by MacArthur standards. Outward left us all to rot. You don't even care? Don't you... Don't you dare. I've dedicated my life to sustaining Earth, even after it killed my wife. My daughter's still down on that godforsaken rock. Then how could you leave her behind? Does she even know? <sighs> Look, there's still time to fix this. We can fix the MPT. You could be a hero. Look around, Ms. Baker. There are no heroes here. They're gone. Now get a move on. It's the first accurate thing he said. There's no way he's becoming a hero after everything. I don't know why, like, maybe she thought that's what motivates him. And maybe, like, using that is kind of like, you could be a hero, you could save them all. And it'd just be like this thing where he's like, you're right. But no, the most accurate thing he said is he, he, there is no heroes here, especially him. I don't know what, like, so you reach a point in your discovery that maybe you won't be able to save 100% of everybody. So you, you what, you just call it quits, you run away, you sabotage everything you've been working for. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And you would hope that, like, what seemingly is a very smart scientific mind in... Oh, okay, that's why this part matters. Um, what seemingly was a very smart and scientific mind in Dr. Johansson would realize that he's being an idiot, right? Like, 
like, I don't know, it's just like abandoning all logic at that point. It's very, it's very interesting. None of these elevators work. They might work once I swap batteries. It leads to not necessarily anywhere safe. That door, maybe. These, I think mostly it's the, the elevator doors here. And we do have a path that when we swap the batteries, we'll be able to use. So let's swap those batteries out real quick. I don't know how the elevators would work once you... Because the elevator was on this side, right? Elevator, yeah. So I, I highly doubt it would still work, but sure. And now we're at a point where I think I might have to traverse that terrible ASC unit area again. Just to get back to... The sleep quarters? I don't think there's a... I don't think there's another path. Wait. Do I die if I take this path? No, I can't even. It won't let me. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to go the... This route. Although, I could cheese it, maybe? No. Yeah, they're not letting me. If it was me in real life, I'd probably try to either figure out this gap and, like, slide there. Or slide off of that. But in game sense, they're not going to let me do that. I probably need both batteries in there to activate the elevator. Which means I need to make this route again. Luckily enough, last time I did this was pretty simple. I like I think I pissed off one ASC unit and then called it a day. I don't think it'll see me here. Oh wait, I needed to go earlier. Shoot. Well, we'll let it go again. God, that takes so long. Yeah, I think I made it mad once. And then I think we go again here. We should be good. Yeah, that route's a lot simpler. Uh, honestly, in the the idea in general is a lot more simple. Now that I know I was supposed to go up. There's a a random body bag here. Away from everyone else, which is interesting. I didn't take you for someone who's into comics. They remind me of home, of what we're doing this for. Reactor capacity at 4%. You know, my brother used to love Moon Man. He was really into these stories. He, um, he was born ill, chronically. When I joined the WSA, he thought I was giving up on him. But without the MPT's energy, there's no way the clinic could keep his treatment going. It's the only way I could help him, even if he'd hate me for it. We try to help them. The people we love. We do what we must to keep them safe. Even if they don't understand. And sometimes we're... We're wrong. I brought my daughter, Kathy, here. She's in cryo now. Isaac? You said your daughter lives on Earth. That's Claire. Uh, my other daughter. We... we don't talk anymore. <laughs> Get some sleep. We try again tomorrow. Wasn't the re uh, reactor at like 8%? And like rapidly degenerating? Do they have time to take naps? Like have a night? I mean, I guess maybe they lose, what, 5% and they still have 5% tomorrow? Sure. Possibly. They were so excited for movie night, and now they're all in body bags. You know how bad that feels? Well, actually, I don't know how excited they truly were for movie night. For Moondust to MPT, guidelines for the Toomba operators. Tailored specifically for fresh minds joining the Lunar Colony, 
This comprehensive guide provides step-by-step -step insight into the answer to the Great Energy Crisis as the only official guidebook to the MPT. From Moon Dust to MPT, it contains everything you need to know about the mining and producing of helium-3, how the reactor processes in it to energy, and how the MPT transmits that energy to Earth. This is by Dr. A. Garagata? Garaguata? I don't know. I probably butchered that last name there. I would say they were very excited for Moon Man, the movie, but then I realized that um, there wasn't that many votes in comparison to what they could have done. Also, this looks like more bunks than 15 people. So they must have a lot more people in the base. I like this little keyboard setup. Wait, is there a keyboard on top of a keyboard? I like, I'm just in the little like side panel for your right hand. That's kind of fun. I wonder if it works kind of like a mouse, like maybe there's a trackpad on it. I'm going to check out all the right rooms before I check out the left. This is just like a bathroom area though. And like a shower pods. I guess a shower pod would just be a shower. Because every shower is technically a shower pod, right? Why can I just flush the toilet? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Is there a reason I should be flushing the toilets? Or is it just like, hey, listen, we thought it was pretty funny that you could flush toilets, so we put that in the game. Fusion energy equations. Why is this in their bathroom? Why is this whole thing in the bathroom? Exceeds production capacity, runs out a finite amount of helium-3 on moon too fast, can't reach coverage percentage, can't sustain minimum percentage, unsustainable. So the, the helium-3 project was unsustainable. That was where all the panic came from. Is they, they had all these grand promises, but in reality the science just didn't work, or the math didn't work. I'm not missing any doors over here, are I? No. So let's do this one. I think this one right here. Some people play chess, that's fun. Moon Man New Flame. Eager to fulfill his mission, the astronaut sits a sleeping stirs a sleeping giant. And as his perilous voyage comes to a stunning climax, he finds that where some journeys end, others begin. Cute. Some chess. Some food items. Sarah, for any day-to-day -day things, use 8662 to get into the storeroom. Isaac. So this is where they... This was their quarters, basically. This is where the two of them... Kind of, like, hunkered down while they tried to fix everything. And I guess if you go too far out, those things try to kill you. But they seem to only be roaming that specific area. I feel like priority one might be like me attempting to get rid of those things so you can traverse freely. But how many days did they exist down here? Just needs a button. Probably a keypad to get in there. Because that's the storeroom, right? The keypad's not out here, is it? No. Hmm. I would say you probably can't have too many days to try to figure out how to get in there. Oh, I need Buddy. Come on, Bobby. You got a mission. You got a mission, Bobby. Never mind. This way. Is this the way? Here we go. And then down? Yeah, down. Why did I get out of you? I need this. This is to open that part off. They have a little rock climbing thing? Granted, that's not much of a climb. This is like a workout room. Which is probably really important if you're on a, uh, a place like space. I guarantee you that treadmill works. I have a feeling that that treadmill is going to work. Let's go try it out. <laughs> I knew it. It was lit up. If I get to the end, can I press something? No. Just just treadmilling away. 
just immediately stops. Only that one works, though, because it's the only one lit up still. I'm not going to be able to rock climb or weight lift. That's not in the capacity of the game, but the treadmill aspect would be. An iPad? Or an iPod? What do they call it? An Elon? Sarah Baker was working out. They must have had a while here. You know? Because they, they worked out, they played chess, they left each other notes. I guess, I mean, what else do you have even if the reactor doesn't actually explode? Maybe it's something more to the nature of, you know, you're just stuck here till you figure it out. So they're working as hard as they can. They don't have anything else to do. Reactor capacity at 3%. We're running out of time. There has to be something we've overlooked. We've checked the entire system. If we don't find a way in soon, Earth's lost. Sarah, it's... it's a wasteland already. Look, I know. We messed up. For centuries. But the MPT can buy us the time we need to make it right again. I'd like to believe that. We all believe it, Isaac. That's why the WSA exists. Or whatever's left of it now. What do we tell the people back on Earth? It wasn't supposed to be like this. MacArthur ordered everybody to load the helium in monorails and evacuate. Said the reactor was dangerous. And people followed him? They followed orders. But some didn't trust him. They resisted. It... It escalated. There was fighting. He even crashed a monorail. What about the ASEs? MacArthur weaponized them. He could overload their safety limiters. But why? Why would he turn them on our own? He's a practical man. Never forget this about William MacArthur. He won't bat an eye so long as he thinks he acts for the greater good. So that's what we'll tell them back on Earth. Our colleagues gave their lives for the greater good. Whatever that is. That's all... Hmm. The all-becoming greater good, eh? He is very militaristic, right? Like, that was the whole thing. He came from... That was, like, the first thing we learned about MacArthur was he was honorably discharged after, like, years in, like, different military services. Um, this probably goes here, I'd guess, because we need to break that open. Although I'm confused as to how we're going to break it open still. Um, this door is just working, right? I don't know. Also, that said 11 days after the blackout. It was going on 12 days um, fully. But... That means... I guess it probably took like what 15 days for the full blackout of everything. I don't know. So it's it's not happening as quickly as I thought it was happening, which makes more sense as to why as to why they like had so many days and why they were able to like sleep and take nights and work out and things. It's because in my brain it was happening super quickly. In reality, it wasn't. Oh, I need the, um... Can I leave you in there? I need to activate... The other side. I have this out now, right? How do I get back in there? Oh, do I have to go all the way around again? Do I? Shoot. Oh, shoot. Should I have already activated that? I might have to go all the way back around. If I follow this all the way through, it stops me here. Which means I probably need to go back around this way. That just takes me to the same hallway. How do I get back in here? Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. It's fairly easy, I guess. Oh, shoot. No, I got to go over there. So less easy. What a jump. What a, what a skill of acrobatics there. Um, where is it? We need to switch the batteries over so we can use the ASC unit. So I believe we're getting the elevator up and going. I think that's like the whole idea. Wasn't there a, yeah, I was to say, wasn't there a thing here? So the elevator should be up and running now. I want to say. This is... Yep. Okay, so that door's open. So we need to take this thing all the way through. Which is a long traversal of an item. Oh, I got stuck on the door. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me through. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm going to get on the other side. I think pushing it's probably for best. Also, can I get my ASC unit back? Do I need to call it in my... My main calling screen? Oh, no, you're right there. Hey, buddy. I'm just going to take this upstairs with us. If you don't mind. Convenient that these have handles. What exactly are these? These are just like crates and stuff that they were like moving around the facility and it's easier to put it on wheels in case you need to move something than to pick up, you know, 10 boxes and move them separately. I guess that makes the most sense. I still don't see how this fully helps. I don't think I can get it past that, actually. There's a lip here that I'm, I'm struggling getting it over. Yeah, it's not moving. Hmm. There's no way to, like, move it over it. Maybe this doesn't go up here. Oh, this needs to be cut. I see. I was a little confused. I'm glad those ASC units aren't attracted by, like, noise. Because if they were attracted by noise, I would be screwed. Hmm. Hmm. Seems very linear. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of places to explore over here. You can go to the left only. Wait, what is out there? The monorail, that must be the monorail that crashed? The entire ground's missing. That must be the monorail that crashed. We still have Hugens to go through, I've realized. Oh man, I just realized we still have Hugens. Because this was feeling like such a definitive end, but then I'm, I'm remembering now that we still have Hugens, then to get back, then to get the MPT back up and running. Oh, there's still so much more to do. Here, let's watch this real quick. Did that give me an inspect option? Was that separately than the watch? Oh yeah, it's on the ground here. That was too small of script for me to read. Smile like this is a joke. They're monitoring us through ASCs somehow. You see the numbers? Uh, MCA, so MacArthur, said reactors fading, but all data looks fine. Mistake or did he lie? He lied. People need to know. Use the intercom. Smile again. MacArthur will kill us. He won't go that far, and we have no choice. You heard them. We can't abandon the MPT, and we can't abandon Earth. We have to do something. Grab that mic. Oh, that's where the whole riot came from. Reactor capacity at 1%. We have to get in now! I'm out of options. I've tried everything I know. Think! It's about to overload! Isaac, you're Wait. not helping. 
Didn't you say MacArthur overloaded safety limiters? Why are you talking about MacArthur? Alex, isolate encryption sequence 17B on the grid. Reactor capacity and zero. <laughs> Got it! We're in! Now what? There's an emergency shutdown. Reactor deactivating. It worked! The reactor's stabilizing! Oh. We're not done yet. The reactor hasn't been able to send the energy anywhere, so... ...ET overloading. Relief pressure immediately. The reserves are about to burst. We have to release the energy. How? A, a temporary transmission should send the... Ah! It's quiet. Finally. The reactor. Is it safe? It is. But the force has moved the MPT dish off its alignment. How bad is it? Can we realign it? The controls are up in the tower. But let's see if there's any helium left first. I thought they died for a second when that explosion happened. I thought that was it. But that's how the riots occurred. Separately from this, um, because obviously this is... Sarah and Isaac, but the riots occurred because they found out that he was lying. They were being watched, and then they broadcasted it to everyone before they evacuated. And then people were like, wait, you're lying? Why are you lying? And then everything gets messy from there. But I wonder, if he, is he just lying about the... the MPT or the Tumba reactor messing up and being fatal and they figured that out? Or is he lying about everything? Is he talking about how, um, like, this is for the greater good, it's never gonna work, maybe there's numbers that proves it might work eventually, but he's just going the opposite route because, I, I don't know, stubbornness? Gumption? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna find out on next episode, which will probably be the finale, at least it's shaping up to be. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, you know, give it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to check out what other games we play um, as well. I focus on one series at a time, so this is the series right now. In February, we'll be doing Deliver Us Mars, and I'll probably do something in between the two. Besides that, peace.